with the economy in recession, many people are losing their jobs. But women in the workforce have a place to play. And that's where Tufts will get kicked off. Join that great discussion with Tufts and Robin Tufts. Tell us more. Thanks so much for going on camera with me, Robin. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, how is the economy affecting you guys? We've seen a dramatic increase in the number of clients that are coming in daily. And of course, we are seeing a lot more people that are looking very concerned about what's going to happen with them. So people are looking for a job, even though they may have a job. Mm -hmm. And then we have people, of course, that are looking for a job because they simply have lost their job. Right, yeah. And you know, um, I, I used to work at Union Station and it's always one of those places. I mean, those two places are like, um, you, you know, you want the agency to do well, mm -hmm. but whenever the numbers are up, it means something bad is going on necessarily. That's true. That's true. We have an mm -hmm. ongoing partnership with Union Station. They do refer their clients to us, and we encourage people when they're desperate and, and without a place to sleep to go to Union Station oh, as well. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, yeah. you got to work together. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of jobs are women looking at there uh, when they come to Women at Work? Well, they're looking for any number of things. We see women that are looking to go back into the workplace because they've been in either the home for a while or they just have recently been laid off. Typical client is generally 40, 45 years old and she's been laid off or she is trying to re-enter after having been at home. And the types of jobs we have are anything from clerical to union jobs. We are encouraging women to look at non-traditional jobs. They pay very well. They often come with, come with benefits. Well, what's a non-traditional job? Non-traditional job might be an electrician. Non-traditional might be construction or mm -hmm. something that is unusual for a woman to necessarily be in. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask an obvious question. Um, is it only for women? <laughs> I'm sure you get that all the we time. We do get or that question a lot. Or if a man comes lot. knocking on your door. Or are you only referral, and so people no. are only referring women? No, we see men as well, and okay. the number of men we're seeing is growing as well. Really? And so we typically see about 9%, and I would say over the last few months, it's probably closer to 15 to 20%. Mm -hmm. and so. so is there a name change going to happen? No, no, no. It's we just, don't turn them away, but we it. definitely cater to women. Gotcha. Now, are there costs associated with this, or how can people, if they're kind of, you know, really needing something, get the help that they need? There's a minimal fee to come in and visit the center, which is a dollar a day or two dollars if they come just once, five visits for five dollars. But everything is done on a sliding scale. Oh. So if a woman comes in and says, I don't have the resources, but I'd like to see a career counselor, that's great. We'll, she goes through the paperwork, she qualifies most likely for one of our grant-funded programs. She can see a career counselor, take a computer class, sit through one of our workshops. Tomorrow we have 45 plus and job hunting, which is one of our real popular workshops. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I want to just talk to you so much more. I've got so many more questions, but um, I do have a link on our website to your website. Wonderful. So hopefully um, people can get more information there. Thank you so much for going on camera and talking Great. with me about this. Thank Robin. you. We appreciate it. it. <laughs> All right.